Welcome to my food and cooking show. My name is Jean Christophe and I was born in Switzerland and I lived in France, Italy, Spain and England. And I think for me the common thread is the enjoyment of food and company in each of those countries. So I look forward to showing you the wonderful restaurants, the recipes and the beautiful produce that's available here. Food to me is about nourishment and nurturing. It's about giving the sustenance for my body, but it's also about giving the pleasure and sharing that pleasure. I love the feeling when I'm cooking for my loved ones, my family, my friends, to see the pleasure they are getting from it. I used to cook with my grandmother. She used to send me shopping. I was eight years old and she would send me out with very strict and clear instructions about how to buy a corn-fed chicken. And I always remember because there were a few feathers left on the chicken, how on the gas fire she would burn those feathers off. And it's funny because I singed some of the hair on my, on my arms. It's the same smell of the burning off of the feathers. And suddenly I am eight years old again. Food is an, uh, is an emotion and I think that it stems from my sense of family and my upbringing. Food has always been something pleasurable to myself and being a chef, it's enjoyable for myself to please other people. Enjoying food and seeing it as a way of giving, giving love. It's also the reason I fell in love with Nick, who is out in the other room as well. <laughs> who in my family inspires me to cook? I would say my mum. You know, her way of showing love is, is food. She actually came to visit me in Sydney yesterday and brought me some Greek uh, keftedis, like Greek meatballs. <laughs> I think you feel that someone is very sharp and like honest, you know? And Nick is the first one to come to see me, like when he's sending you some new food, new fish or new dish or new thing for you to try, he's coming to me, he's like... What do you say? <laughs> what do you say? My grandfather, my father, my brother, they all been chef. Um, very well known chef in Paris and Food is something that you can create, you can travel without traveling, actually. <laughs> it was just perfect, I think. Simple plate, you know, just one or two flavor in a plate. It was my best experience because I don't always paint. Four hours. En tant que bonne française, j'aime partager ma culture et je pense que la culture française, notamment par rapport à la nourriture, est particulièrement bonne. Je suis très heureuse de pouvoir partager ça à Sydney, notamment dans un TV show de Sydney, du coup. <laughs> I think the person in my family who inspired me to cook was definitely my grandmother. And I was always amazed how she would do the same dishes. The chicken, couscous, with yogurt and uh, some tannas. And I also learned from her to make sweets. I learned how to make baklava and various Middle Eastern sweets. And so for me, 
I think it was the first experience, the link between nurturing and nourishment. And that link has never left me. Wasn't that a lovely dinner? Nick, the chef and the staff at Bebo have invited me to taste some new dishes they're planning to put on the menu. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, you say? How are you How going? Are you? Very good. You're good? Always. Good, Always good. Sunday. And your little boy? Come and sit here. Very good, thank you. The manager here at Bebo. And I've yeah. been coming since you opened. Yeah, yeah, first, uh, f first day, I think. The first, first day, day, I was yeah, here yeah, yeah. five years ago. Quite, quite funny, actually, remember? We, uh, we saw you were a food writer, a food credit for the good food guy. You were with your pen all night, trying so focused on every little details on the plate. And with all the team, I called the head somebody, I called the head chef, I was like, oh, this guy must be writing for the good food or somewhere, you know, <laughs> like a magazine. Uh, and, yeah, and then we figured out you're just um, someone that loves food. Yeah, fine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And can cook after that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Which is kind of why I think over the past few years here, you've been the inspiration for me to do this cooking show. You put so much passion into the food. I always thought, you know, I would love to do something that shows this spirit, this passion yeah. of fine food. You make everybody feel comfortable and, you know, it's such a French European thing. Thank you. Uh, it's thank awesome, you. Jesse. Always thank you for coming. How did you um, enjoy the, you. The, the dish with uh, Nick? You. I think he made a few yes. uh, new dishes today again, Very so uh, how did you enjoy? Hi, Nick. Hello, Jesse. Nice to see you. The chef at Vivo. Oh, this is exciting. What have you got here? Yeah, so for you today, we're playing around with an idea of um, Canadian Bay scallops from Prince Edward Island. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so a little bit of rock melon, a little bit of honeydew. So, um, and then we just finish it off with a little bit of uh, lemon balm from our, our uh, herb garden. And this just brings a nice little floral, um, acidic bite. Uh, to finish. Nice one. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Cheers. Look forward to trying the new dish. Awesome. <laughs>